Right, good news, we still have our legs. Bad news, our nipples fell off. But uh, it's unclear how that will affect gameplay as of yet, so we'll persevere. And yes, we're still over encumbered. Because of course we are. I I don't even know if I should try fighting it at this point. Um, and yeah, the, the sleep really didn't do all that much for us, so we're still fucked in that regard. Doing well on everything else though, so you know. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. But luckily, um, mm -hmm, no, I have to break them down. We have found the huts again, which turns out we're just right round the corner, so I probably didn't have to sleep outside. That was rather stupid, wasn't it? I didn't... Why didn't... Doesn't matter. Oh look, and there's a bunch of pricks out on the lake. Wait, I so I was up... I could have got here way faster then, but... I would have had to go past them, so I suppose it wasn't worth it. Hey, dee doody. Which is not a thing anyone should be saying. Ah, it's night time. Probably a good time to sleep then. Since we need to, anyway. Right, we're back here again. Okay, start the stream off by falling asleep. That's not a bad omen. Right. Now shut the fuck up for a good nine hours. I expect that eyeball meter to be full. Oh, fuck off. Oh, at least we healed the food poisoning. Right, have a lie in. Get another three hours at least. Wonderful. Now we're all set, I guess. You can put them away now. I'd better find some water. Oh, uh, you better just shut up for a minute, honestly, because you're getting on my wick, really. So, did I store a bunch of stuff here, or was that at the dam? I think there was at the dam, wasn't it, where I put everything in the bin? Oh, apparently I haven't searched that. <gasps> Line suitable for fishing. Oh, well, I guess we could. We, our fishing was sort of interrupted before, or we just sort of didn't get to do as much of it as I expected. Um, yep, fuck it. Keep moving. That's the aim for today. And hope that old Beardy is not actually dead by the time we get back. Because this has taken us a minute. This whole trek. Excellent. And we've even got a fish to bring back to him. Along with the heavy painkillers. Great. And the wind's picking up. But at least it's daylight. It's a staggering amount of effort that we've gone through. Um, oh wow, you can really... The lookout's super visible in the day. Uh, but yeah, we've gone to a surprising amount of effort for a guy we don't know. I guess we're just though that good a person. And I suppose when you're in this sort of situation any other person being alive is going to help you as much as you help them, I suppose. Is that a fucking a fucking... oh, for God's sake. I am not in the mood for this. 
You know what, I'm so not in the mood for this. You fucking want some then? We haven't done this yet, but we're doing it now. Fuck you! <laughs> Told you I wasn't in the mood, mo motherfucker. Right. And we're going to take your meat. And your guts. God, everything's so much easier when you just start gunning shit down. Should have done this earlier. Perhaps I should um, explain my newly informed Can't mindset. Feet. You don't need to feel your feet when you've got a gun. <laughs> Testing out my NRA slogans again. Um, but yeah, no, basically I've... Um, I don't know, I don't religiously watch back my own streams and when I do it's usually a painful experience but I always check them to some extent to make sure shit hasn't gone wrong wrong um, usually around the start and the end just make sure you know no um, drastic audio failures or anything because that has happened um, too often uh, but yeah watching these back I've realized it's just I suppose it is the nature of the game to an extent but it just feels like I'm really not making the sort of progress I should be. So, you know, at this point, fuck it. We've got the bullets. If that bear wants to fuck with us, if any wolves want to fuck with us, no more Mr. Nice Canadian. Which probably means they're going to introduce something worse than a bear now. A moose? Is a moose worse than a bear? Mm, depends how pissed off it is, I suppose. There was also a cache around here that we missed. Or either we did, or we... Well, we may have missed it, or it may not have been findable at all. Until we found the note about it. Either way... We'll grab that and get back to Jerry, or whatever his name is, within the session. God, it's easy when you know where it there is. There you are. Nice. It's not coming handy. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, the accelerants are good, but honestly, I find they take up more space than anything. Or weight, rather. Space is not the issue. Okay, so after our um, rather stupid encounter with the bear at the dam, I don't know if he suddenly became active in the environment and we've just been very lucky, or we'll next see him at a scripted sequence, probably at the hut. Because as we all know, bears are big fans of Pizza Hut. And they go there often. That's a good point. I can't remember now. Did Jeremiah have an infinite fire like uh, Soup Bitch did? He certainly had a f hang on. He certainly had a fire going. I don't know if it's infinite or not. Oh, that's not even the way we have to go. So whatever that is in the distance can stay in the distance. Is that the bear? Do I have binoculars or something? I don't. I guess the closest thing I've got is this. No, it's a tree stump. Okay, fine. <laughs> I never claimed to be not paranoid. 
And I don't know who's been telling you that, but... I have my suspicions. It's everyone. Good. Should be just over the ridge. So to speak. I'm not sure that there is going to be a bear encounter because the music will be very jarring if there is. <laughs> I don't know if this music's meant to be triumphant or melancholy. Perhaps it's deliberately ambiguous because I don't know if this guy's going to be alive or dead. Maybe I'll get in there and he's gone and the bear's just waiting in his bed. What big fur you have for a human. Human! <clears throat> Voice breaking is in full effect today, that's always good. Nothing makes me feel like a teenager again like that. And when I say nothing makes me feel like a teenager again, I mean except that. Which is a shit way to feel like a teenager again. If you could uh, have less of the voice breaking and more of the non-existent aches and pains, that'd be good. Alright, sure, we're we gonna... through the clothes? Yeah, alright. Wow, that was quick! <gasps> I'm surprised you felt it through the jumper. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious too. Look who's talking. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. It means you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? You don't have time. You need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. It's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? The radio is psychologically damaged. It's lost its self-esteem. Transformers, maybe. What's Optimus Prime got to do with this? To with first. That bear's out there. Hunting us. A smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. He hasn't so far. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Help yourself. You shouldn't have been standing up in the first place then. Tinkering with your. Radio and shit. Damn bear surroundings. 
I went to the dam. The dam was pretty busted up, like you said. Like you. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some this is David Hayter. Again in the 80s. But then the forest talkers got involved. And this is sounding very solid snake, sure the, the voice. The job this might be. <sighs> Back in the 60s. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do any voice, and my impressions are terrible. Oh dear. Forest talkers? What are they talking about? So, who are the forest talkers? Eco terrorists. Activists, some call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. I'm not Why talking to much of anyone around here. But. Well, they've been active for years. They come and go. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. <laughs> you don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. You have something they want. They take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Ah. That makes a bit more sense, I guess. Can you tell me anything about where we are? Bumfuck nowhere. Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. Not much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. You've already seen the dam. I've seen the Railroad cabins too. Through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. Whole area is mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. So, no other people living out here? You gotta understand. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. You meet anyone out here? Chances are they're hiding from something. So what are you Someone. hiding from? And you? Yeah, obvious. Why are you here? You lent into that reasons. one. I just saved your fucking life. You could be a bit more open with me. I saved your life twice, actually. Once from the bear and then once going all the way out to get that shit for you. Speaking of bear... What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? He owes you money. Ah. Uh, <laughs> me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. Oh, so he does owe you money. You trade. <laughs> Each other's blood, mostly. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. Could be for both of you. Woman! The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. Yes, we've covered That's that. Kind of the whole point. Mm hmm. This is someone important to me. A woman. She oh, well, that changes everything. Days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton. But then... I'm not sure. Well... The roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path. Even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Uh, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. Uh, I beg to differ. to get my radio <laughs> up and running. So we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. Yes, he's hankering for a codec call. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town. North part of the island. 
Sounds about right. I mean, every every town I've been to yeah. so far seems kind of that description. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her, see if she's all right. You sure she's alive? Nope. Yeah, I'm sure. No, you're not. Well, where would you be? Normally, I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. <gasps> I'd have an idea. Is the Aurora Borealis fucking with the wildlife? How does that make sense? It's magnets, electromagnets in their brain. Strange idea. What do you mean the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now? Patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. No. Not spooked. But changed somehow. Best way I can say it is things don't feel right. I mean, you are drugged up to the eyeballs with a massive bear wound, so I'm not going to trust your instincts on what feels right at the moment. You said you had an idea. Yes, back in the sixties, I had an idea. Well, didn't last it's a long. long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts or another radio? We might find another radio. I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio and our survival is through that bear. Fine, I'll go shoot have the to bear. Find a way to deal with him first. I got like 12 bullets. I know a bear's a bear, but like, come on. I am ready. Also, ZX991901. Okay. Is he referring so to an to EMP deal. with the lights yeah. in the sky? Explains why You're the electric's out. And rifle shots don't seem to do much. Uh, so could be. That's because. Could be. Um, yeah, all I knew is when it crashed, there was like northern lights shit happening. But yeah, it could have been a man made EMP type thing. Quite like him. Special bear like that. Needs special magic to bring him down. Magic? Sorry, uh, what the fuck you took? Magic? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. Um, yeah, okay. Knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately beat him to death with the wood. <laughs> There's an old story. Magic's not real! Local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. Yeah, sit at a distance from him, I think. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the uh, Hudson's Bay Company. Neat, neat. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing. And they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Are you Spence? Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Okay, you're really hyping this bear up. The bear's evil spirit is killing her. Eating her soul. They can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. I haven't had a chance to see if rifles don't work, but... Like a boar spear. 
but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the Mustang, disappears for days, and then one morning, the wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him, and they find him, half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. Oh, well, it weren't you then. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung he it He did say this happened like Spence years and years and years ago. So Never I saw guess. that bear. Or any other. Again. Right. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. Are you trying to say this is the same so bear? Believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? <laughs> no, of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truth hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of Which cold idea? hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear killing spear if we're going to survive the winter. Oh, it has to be a particular we'll spear as well. There. A couple of days' journey south. <sighs> Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg. And you'll find it. D no, if the spear's there. Fuck this. <laughs> it might be our best hope. That's. But th no, this is some radio? flimsy justification. You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <laughs> why, why can't I worry about the radio? That seems a far safer bet no. than. Some mythical legend about a spear or that, that didn't even really work. Right. This is no Mackenzie. Leave, <laughs> leave, and make your own way, and and don't bother with this shit anymore. This is oh, it is an infinite fire. I really legendary spear. They, that's not where I thought this was going. Why would you believe a spear can do it if this is... I don't even believe that the bear's bulletproof. But then again, we haven't had a chance to test it. Are you bulletproof? Yeah, you are, apparently. Oh, well, that's weird. I don't really try to take survival advice from, like, folklore and legends. Especially if the legend is about someone who died at the end. But, uh, I don't know. Guess we're locked into that now. Also, of course, you don't, you don't hire David Hater unless you get him to do a big monologue like that. So, money well spent. Um, so yeah, that's all the stuff we put in there. But we're still over encumbered now, so there's no real point taking any of it out either. Uh... Right, we'll just put more of that in then, I guess. Uh, Met could put some of that in. They weigh practically nothing, but I mean, every little helps, I guess. I don't think we have any surplus clothes at this point. We could put some of the material in there, like the hides and stuff. Because I don't quite know what I'm using them for yet. Scrap metal? Um, I know that's sometimes useful though, isn't it? Some of the leather, I think.
still nowhere near unencumbered, are we? Let's uh, cook some of this meat for a start. Really? Just like that? Okay, fine. Can't afford plates. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh yeah, craft some shit. Oh yeah, we found a snare, didn't we? Well, hang on, I thought we found a snare. Yeah, whatever happened to that? Did we die and lose it, or what? Uh, no, it's snare. A simple snare used to capture small game. Okay, if we're going to be in here a minute, then let's set that up outside. You never knew. By this rock in the grass where it is slightly hidden. Yeah. Okay. There's no real signs of rabbit life around here. I don't know if that's the prerequisite, but we'll give it a go. Burn. Nope, still good. Guess we can create some hooks. I guess the hooks are way less than the uh, than the scrap metal, maybe. I don't think we're using scrap metal for anything else at the moment, so might as well. Shit. Oh no, it's cooked. It's okay. Right, good. Excellent. Cook some more. Might as well. Yeah, when he says a couple of days long trip. Um, right, and we're going through that tunnel, so it's going to be like a whole other area. But it does seem like we'll come back here. Broken Railroad, Forlorn Muskeg. So we're going to come out there. We've got to go fucking all the way. Wow. So to <laughs> maintenance yard. Jeez, okay, so three maps worth of areas. This is gonna be a fucking long trek. Jesus. Uh whew. well it's a good job we're gonna have a shit ton of meat, I guess. How do I always end up with surplus cans? I don't know. Also, we don't want to cook too much because obviously it'll go off quicker, I guess. So, um, cans, cans, cans.
I feel like that's a good amount of everything. Oh yeah, we can leave the gut out to uh, cure. I'm sure he won't mind if we just put that fucking any old way. Oh! I wanted to put it on the chair like some filthy savage. Okay, well, let, let's at least put it over here so we don't lose track of it. Doink and doink. I don't know, but I didn't want them stacked on top of one of another. Come on, you've got to be neat and tidy about this. Good. Right, and they'll be curing that. Don't tread all over this, you fat prick. This shit's important. I can't pick those up. Those are just there. Okay. Hmm. What more prep can I do? Oh, that's become decent, has it? Or was it always decent? I don't know. But either way, it means we can repair it. Worth doing. Good. That has taken a beating at some point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fuck! God damn it, I knew it, I knew it. Every time. Although we got, what was it, three? We got three good cooked ones before we burnt something, so that's not... That's not too bad, I, I guess. Kind of. Sharpen that? Sure, why not? Seventy three percent. It only went up three percent. That's pretty shit. God, that's gonna take fucking ages to get to like ninety then, isn't it? Right. Um no fuel for that still. Repair. No, it seems in okay condition. I guess we don't need two flare guns, no. We could always dual wield them in some kind of weird survivalist John Woo fashion, but uh, maybe not. Fuck! I'm not sure I can carry much more. Shut up. Oh, bollocks. What do they even have there in there? It's two flares, wasn't it? Yeah, we got six. Six, six is probably enough, isn't it? A uh, bunch of hooks, can openers, knife, very important. Pry bars, rifle, sewing kits. See, this is all like, you know, you can't really get rid of any of that. That's all super important. Um, we are almost under-encumbered, though. Under-encumbered, is that the word? Whatever. Hmm. Just a few if we could just store or drop a few more things. Have we used them for anything yet? What do you even use them for? I don't know yet. But they weigh next to nothing, so I guess it's not really a problem. That's going to be a while. That'll be the whole fucking trip. Um, Tinder plugs. How many do we have? I don't know where it says that, actually. Eight. That's good. Don't really need more of those. Always got those. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we should have some coffee before we go so set off on the right foot, I guess. I know that's not coffee, but for um it was saying how the uh Uh, the soda cans actually weighed more than you would think, so... We've got a shit ton of coffee, haven't we? Expended all dialogue with him. Um, yeah, I think that's all the prep we can do. I think we're going to have to head on out pretty soon. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, you can access food from there. I mean, that was always staring me right in the face, yet I never did it for some reason. Story of my life. Um, legendary spear from fucking miles away. I feel like this guy's actually just trying to get me killed, so, like, I'll leave him alone. I think that would make more sense than anything feasible with this uh, fucking spear. Yeah, one for the road, I guess. And we're not encumbered. Wonderful. That, right, that's the best we're going to get then, I think. Um, Jesus. This is going to be a long way, isn't it? Best save. Right, you better be correct about this fucking spear that works better than a rifle, apparently. He's not dead, but I mean, I'll be dead by the time I get back. It's I do not have faith in this plan. I also don't have faith that that uh, snare caught anything, but we will check. Nope. Probably have to use it in an area with rabbits. Oh, fuck off, I'm encumbered now. Come on. But by 50... Uh, no, I'm not having the ketchup crisps. You can't make me. Good. Eating some peaches has pushed us back over the limit. Right. Um, fucking hell. This is going to be a way, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very good job that I have taken to the more liberal use of firearms. Because I don't know how we're going to get through this otherwise. I still don't know how we're going to get through this just in terms of hypothermia and shit. But... We'll do our best, I guess. I don't think any sane person would really try this. He said, yeah, there's a... Let me tell you this old story about an immortal bulletproof bear and a spear that didn't actually even confirm kill it, but it might have saved some wife's soul. I think we should use that rather than radioing for help. 
Okay, yeah, good idea, mate. I'm just I'm just gonna head out for a cigarette. Run, run far away, never come back. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up because I'll be over encumbered. <sighs> but I bet you, when I next need a fire, I'll be struggling for firewood. So it's just how shit goes, I guess. Crows seem to be doing all right. And if you got it, it's going to be a long old trek otherwise. So I can actually go into that red meter. No, I can't. That's where it stops. Does that mean I can upgrade my stamina to that point? It's unclear. I thought maybe that was like an over-exertion part of the meter and that that's where you uh, run the risk of like actually spraining your ankle or something, but... No, it seems like that just is the limit, and then... What? Oh, fuck. Okay, I... No, no, we're not... No. You know what, actually, let's try this at least first. I want you to fuck off. Yeah, scary, isn't it? Ah, oh, big scary noise for stupid little dog. Fuck you, lassie. And we've got 16 of those, so if they all work as well as that, then we're pretty good. I'm, I'm going to save the rifle stuff for the um, for the bear, because as I say, I've got no faith in this fucking spear idea. Well, if nothing else this session, I think we have conquered the fear of wolf. Which was looming over us for rather too long. Well, it's technically a straight line, so that's pretty good. Unless we want to go there. Do we want to go there? And there? I don't know. Like I say, I've got more faith in the uh, radio ideas. Wait, that's the old homestead. Then why is... Why is the goal there? What's the, what's that then, if that's not the old homestead? Hmm, okay. Um, I th yeah, I think we probably need to hit... What's all this, though? Is this like... Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head that way and... You know, we'll hit that and we'll hit that one because those are close together. We'll not go out of our way for the other two, I don't think. Because we are going to have to uh, take shelter somewhere, probably. We won't stay warm forever. In fact, I probably could have done with starting this off, you know, daybreak instead of uh, the evening. Night is going to roll around quicker than I'd like. Then again, it's difficult to know, isn't it? I might find, like, train carriages and shit I can hide in if I stick to the train tracks. Hard to know. Ray Mears wouldn't put up this shit. He'd be there already. He'd be there and back already. 
No fucks given. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you anymore. Fuck off with your howling. I'm I'm back on top of the food chain now. Unless there's like a kraken underneath this lake or something. I'm curious about this though. This seems worth investigating. Yeah, and then we can start diverging off, I guess. Ah, theme of sad dead train again. Oh, this entire family of oil barrels, all dead. They'll never see their family again. Oh, come on, it's just a bit of coal. How much can that weigh? I mean, I know... Alright, fine, whatever. But Oh, hello. Fi oh, there it is. Poachers camp. Oh, well, I'll happily steal from poachers. Fuck them. Advanced guns, guns, guns. Packed full of advice and technical details about how to be a better shooter. Oh. ML Fisher. So what does that actually do? Preserve nature's balance in nearby areas by reducing the wolf population. Oh, you've you've worded that in a very telling way, haven't you? Yes, we're preserving the balance. That's what we're doing. Definitely. Um, well, hmm, fuck, it's not quite night enough yet for this to really be a good spot to hang out, is it? It's irritating. Did we check the backpack? This will come in handy. <gasps> Ragged jeans. That's not bad. Actually, I'm not sure how warm jeans are going to be, are they? No. Not very. Better than nothing. Might as well tear them up then, I guess. Feels like night is coming. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Because night is coming. No, I think those were two. Uh, unconnected sound clips that just happened to play next to each other. And what was it? A ragged thin wall? Yeah, you can go as well. Neat. Neat and tidy. Tidy as you go. Yeah, and now I guess it is night time. Might as well fucking stay here. Use some of the coal and shit. Makes sense, doesn't it? Might as well use that as well. It worked. You fucking drop something. You you'd fucking hope so after pouring that shit on it. Right, good. We can chuck all this on there and we'll have a fire going for ages. Run the bar. What's that? Antibiotics. Really should have put them in a safer place, shouldn't you? Oh, it's going to go for fucking hours. Excellent. Five hours. Almost six hours of fire. Is it safe for the smoke to just... Uh, it's probably fine. The door's open. Cool. I guess that's where we're calling it for now, then. Better shelter than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. And then uh, I guess we'll work out our next move next time and uh, hopefully either cook or drop enough stuff to be okay to go again. 
See, that's the problem. All the meters are still pretty good, so I don't know if... Fuck it. We'll work it out next time. We've got a fire in a barrel, and that's the main thing. What more could you want from life? Right. Cheers for watching, then. And, uh... We will... I don't know, shoot flares at more wolves and, and keep wondering if the ice is going to crack next time. Or maybe we'll crack. Ah, so you leave it on a, a cliffhanger kind of... That was shit.